What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a motion outro in Photoshop and Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this video, like I say, this was a requested tutorial as you'll see on the screen right now. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So for the first part, we're going to be starting off in Photoshop, and it's all about the shapes and how you want it to look. My current canvas is 1920 by 1080 because that's what I render my videos in. So so if yours is that as well, then when you choose the resolution of your canvas, make sure it's 1920 by 1080. Alternatively, if you render in 720, then make sure it is 1280 by 720. So come over here to the side, as you'll see we get these shapes. And first of all, we use the rounded rectangle. At the top here, we have the fill. I like to leave it black, and then we just color everything else after. For the stroke, I don't have a stroke because I don't think it's really needed. And then we're just going to drag out this shape, like so. I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to put the top left and top right to zero. And then I'm going to put these sides both up and I'm going to match them so I'm going to type in 134 here as well. And I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to press the move tool and I'm going to position it by pressing Control T and sizing it down a bit. And there we go. That's how I'm going to have it. And this part, if you haven't guessed already, is going to be thanks for watching. Another thing I like to do is add the text on straight away. So we're going to come to new layer. We're going to come to text and we're just going to drag out a box and make sure it's online with this. Make sure it's centered. And of course, we're on black background. We need to have some white text in order to see it. And we're going to put thanks for watching. And I'm going to press Control T and size this down. Now, I might be going a bit fast for this tutorial. It's just because there is a lot to cover. And of course, the way I'm probably doing it, you can make it look so much better because you're going to spend so much more time on it. Now, the next thing we're going to do is maybe have our videos in the middle. For this, I recommend a rectangle tool. And this time the fill, we're not going to have one, but the stroke will have a black outline. And we're going to just drag out like so. And I think that's good right there. If you don't like the stroke, if you want it thicker, you can come over to the side and make it thicker. I'm going to have it about that thick. I'm going to minimize this and move it just here. I want to find the center first, so I'm going to move the ruler there and I'm going to drag this to the left and line it up with this side here. So now all we need to do is press Ctrl J on my keyboard and that's going to drag all the way across online and it's going to snap online with this. So now we both know they're in the same position. Now, just to make things easier for me as well, as you can see, the layers panel is already getting a bit messy. So I'm going to press the first rectangle we created, which is this up here. And I'm going to press control and press the text. I'm going to come here and select the folder button and I'm double click and I'm going to call this. Thanks for watching. And what this lets me know, if I open the folder, this is where I can edit that top layer. And I'm going to do the exact same for the video once I've finished this part. The next thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. And I'm actually going to come here and add a rounded rectangle. This time we are going to have a black fill. The stroke I'm going to take off and I'm just going to drag a rounded rectangle like so. Now, same as last time, I'm going to put the top left to zero and I'm going to put the top right to zero as well. Now, the bottom left as well, I'm also going to put to zero. But the bottom right, I'm going to drag up so it's curved like that. And now I'm just going to position this online with this so it looks like that. I'm going to hold Alt and zoom in on with my mouse wheel, hold Ctrl T and size it down. Like that, that is what I wanted. So now I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate this. I'm going to hold Ctrl T and then I'm going to hold Shift and Alt and just drag it in like so. Now we're going to drag this all the way to the other side like that press enter on my keyboard, now they're both duplicated. The next thing, I'm going to add another new layer and I'm going to add my text here. And this one could probably be uh, check out another video or something or previous video. And then I'm going to press control A and of course we need to size it down because we cannot see it. There we go, I'm going to press the check. I'm going to come to the move tool and just position the text. There we go, that's how I want it. And now I'm going to press Ctrl J on my keyboard so that duplicates and I'm going to drag this all the way to the side up here. And now I'm going to be changing this one because of course we already have previous video here to maybe random video. And I'm going to press the check mark up here. Now this video part is all done so I'm going to press the first one we done, hold shift and select the bottom rectangle which is one of the videos. 
I'm gonna come to the folder and put them in a group again. I'm gonna call this videos. So that makes sense to me. Okay, so here I decided to fast forward all of this simply because you're not really missing much. All I'm doing is putting in extra shapes, some text, and getting some social media icons. The way I got the social media icons was go onto Google, type in, for example, twitter.png, save it, and then drag it into Photoshop. Now the next thing we need to add a background. Now because I have this image saved from another tutorial I showed this week, I'm just going to use this, a brick wallpaper, and of course we need to drag it to the bottom. Now you'll notice that checkered background has just appeared on the wallpaper. That is something I'd done when I was creating the template, but you don't need to do that. But if you do want to do it, it's completely optional, it's not going to make a difference. All you have to do is highlight the area with a marquee tool and then just press delete on your keyboard. Okay, so the final thing we're doing in Photoshop is saving everything individually from these folders. So I'm just going to position all this so it's in order. And that's how I want it to be. So the background's going to be on first, then thanks for watching is going to come up, the social media is going to come up, the videos or, or the previous videos are going to show up, and then the upload schedule will show as well. So now these I next to all of them, we need to uncheck them until we just have the background. Now we need to come to File, Save As. I've already made a folder known as Motion Outro. I'm going to save this as a PNG and I'm going to call this one dot background. This lets me know this will be number one. And we need to do the same for all of them. So the next one is thanks for watching. We're going to come to File, Save As. And again, everything needs to be saved as a PNG. I'm going to call this number two and thanks. And you get the idea. So we're just going to keep going through like this. And I'm just going to fast forward all of this part. Okay, so as you can see, I have just finished doing all of that. I'm going to put the eyeballs back for all of them. I'm going to come to File, Save As, and of course we don't want to lose it, so we're going to call this Motion Outro, and this is where everything's going to be saved. It's going to be saved as the Photoshop file. Now we can finally head over to Sony Vegas. Okay, so as you can see, I have Sony Vegas opened up. I'm going to head over to Project Media. I'm going to open that folder we created, and I'm going to hold Shift and select all of them and drag it in here. Now the background is number one, so I'm going to drag this on and just move this out. Now with the background, this is when we're going to choose how long we want this outro to be. For me, I think 12 seconds or 13 seconds is a good time for an outro. So I'm going to stop it at the, uh, 12 seconds, press M on my keyboard to lay down a marker and this is going to let me know when it stops. The next thing is thanks for watching as that's going to come up. So I'm going to leave. I'll leave uh, that long, that's good. So 21 frames until this comes up, so it's going to be... And we will add some transition so it won't just pop up like that, we'll make it look so much better. The next thing is the social media we want to come up. So uh, it's going to come up, then that's going to come up. And make sure you drag everything to the end, otherwise it will mess up. The next thing is the videos we want to show. There we go, just drag them out. Then, of course, the upload schedule we want to show and just drag this to the end. Now the easy part, the easiest part, in some cases, we need to head over to Transitions. If you don't see it, then come to View, Windows Layout and select Default Layout. Now Transitions, uh, you have quite a lot to pick from. I know for a fact for the videos, I want zoom to happen, so it's like that. So if I drag this on the videos here at the start and just make this a little bit longer, if I play this through, that's what I want the videos to be like. Now bear in mind when you're seeing all this black stuff and then just the outline of these boxes, you would have already put the thumbnails to your videos in these boxes, so then pictures will be showing and it won't look like this, it'll look better. And of course, uh, let's see, I'm just going to look through here and I'll be back to you. So I'm actually going to use this for the thanks for watching and the social media. So they're both going to slide in and it's going to look pretty smooth. So if I play this, that comes down, that comes down, then that comes in. Uh, that's sort of okay, I guess. Now what I'm going to do, as you can see, this comes from above the text. So I'm going to drag this layer behind. So now, as you'll see, it's going to give the illusion it's coming from behind it. Like that, and it looks so much better. And then this comes in quite fast, so we're going to drag this out. The final thing is, thanks for watching, I think I'm going to use a slide up here. So let's see. There we go. So if we play this from the beginning, if I just put this down, 
this is what we're gonna get. So thanks for watching and coming first, then the social media, then the videos, then the upload schedule. It all happens pretty fast, but of course you can play around with this, uh, make them last longer, like I'll do right now for you. And you'll see, the longer you make it last, it will look better and better each time. Okay, so let's play this through from the beginning. I've made the transitions a bit longer. Thanks for watching. Social media, videos, and the outro. And just like that, it is complete. Now before I close off the video, I want to be showing you how to edit this template. Now in the description when you download it, this is what you're going to get, these exact files right here. You're going to get the Photoshop one and the Sony Vegas one. First thing you need to do is open up Photoshop. So from here of course you want to have your video thumbnails in this box here and this box here. Now I've created a random thumbnail just for an example for this and I'm going to simply size it down into this box just like this and press enter on my keyboard and you'll notice it is behind the black bars and the reason for that is because as you'll see our videos tab is here if we put this above the videos tab you can see now it's on top of the black bars which you don't want so make sure it is behind or underneath here to make it easy for you just make sure it's above the background then I'm going to do the exact same again drag and drop it and I'm going to size this down into the right box this time and just like that press enter on my keyboard now the next thing we need to do is uncheck everything apart from videos and this these thumbnails we just put in all we're going to do is click file save as come to png and that same motion outro folder you downloaded at the start you're going to save this and you're going to double click where it says vid4.videos and you're going to select yes and OK. Now if we head over to Sony Vegas from here, it's already going to be changed for us. As you can see, just like that, it's now in place. So if I play this through, that is what the finished product is going to look like. That is it for this video. I know this was a very long-winded tutorial. I think I've been recorded for about 30 minutes. I tried to make it as fast as I can. Hopefully you understand why I was rushing a bit at the start. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're able to make a motion outro. You can make, you can be very creative with these. You can make really nice ones. Anyway, like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.